Although it is common knowledge that no two tigers ever have the same stripes, did you also know that there are 9 different kinds of tigers? You might wonder which of them is the strongest in light of this. Who would win if all these tigers subspecies were compared to one another? Come along with us as we venture deep into the forest to educate you on these raging monsters. Fun fact, tigers have striped skin, not just fur, and their tongues are so rough they can lick paint off walls. First up is the Bali tiger. Did you know this is the smallest species of tiger? Males grew as long as 7 feet, which is considered small among tigers. They also weighed about 200 pounds, which is the same as an average mastiff dog. The Bali tiger once roamed the Indonesian island as a fearsome hunter as part of the region's three tiger species, but sadly, the species has not been since the 1930s and has been considered extinct since the 1940s, according to the Save the Tiger Fund. When humans moved to the island, the tiger was trapped. This species was losing its home and had nowhere to move to. These tigers were hunted relentlessly and sadly, they lost the war. The last seen Bali tiger was shot in 1937. All we have now of this species are skulls, bones, and pictures. But it's not only these subspecies that have disappeared from the earth, as you'll come to know. Because the Javan tiger is the same. The Javan tiger was slightly larger than the Bali tiger and lived on the Indonesian island of Java. This makes it the second one of the Indonesian tiger's trio. Unfortunately, this subspecies had the most dangerous predator of them all, humans. Since the 1970s, the species has most likely gone extinct. Now you might be thinking, what does most likely extinct mean? Well, it gets a bit complicated here. It's possible that the tiger just learned to hide from humans, because occasionally, someone will stumble upon a few members of the subspecies. Back in 2000, locals saw a family of tigers and officials found tracks in the mud. After that, when a volcano erupted in the island in 2010, people started noticing paw prints in the ash. And just back in 2017, a wildlife photographer took a picture of what could have been a tiger feeding on a bull. None of these sightings have been confirmed, and this could just be locals getting their hopes up, but who knows? Maybe the Javan tiger is still alive, and that definitely puts it a step above the Bali tiger. But speaking of small tigers, next up is the South China tiger. Although it's not nearly as small as the Indonesian ones, it's pretty tiny compared to some of the other subspecies. The South China tiger is also called the Xiamen tiger and the Amoy tiger. A hundred years ago, these fanged figures roamed freely in central and eastern China, but since the 1970s, their numbers have fallen fast. Fifty years ago, there were 4,000 recorded South China tigers, and by 1987, there were an estimated 30 to 40 individuals left, spread across 11 reserves. Are you thinking, what happened? The same thing that always does. In the 1970s, when the Chinese government was clearing large swatches of land for commercial development, they kept running into tiger hordes. To deal with them, the government started exterminating them like pests. But the people have finally realized that we could lose the Chinese tiger forever, and breeding programs are trying to bring their numbers back up. As of 2019, their number has grown back up to 150. Maybe one day, we will even see the blue South Chinese tiger. That's right, people have sworn they've seen blue tigers, and it may be a genetic mutation. Alternative colors for tigers aren't impossible. Other subspecies show them all the time. But let's get to those later. Let's talk about the Indo-Chinese tiger next. The biggest populations of the Indo-Chinese tiger are found in Thailand, Burma, and Vietnam. This subspecies is also called Corbett's tiger, named after the famous British hunter who used to hunt them. If you were the Indo-Chinese tiger, you probably would want to be named after the person that killed you, right? By 2020, there were only about 200 of these tigers left, mainly reserves around Thailand and Myanmar. Do you know the reason why? Hint, it's a lot worse than you think. People keep killing them for illegal trade. Their body parts are used for rituals, their internal organs are eaten, bones are used to make jewelry, and pelts are traded. No part of the tiger is left unsullied. But the reserves have the capability to support over 2,000 of these individuals, and tiger populations grow fast, so hopefully, we'll be seeing a resurgence in this breed as well. Of course, the same can't be said for the Malayan tiger. The Malayan tiger looks very similar to the Indo-Chinese tiger. In fact, the two were considered to be the same breed until the early 2000s. Unfortunately, the Malayan tiger is also hunted down by people for ritual uses. There are less than 150 breeding adults in the world, 
and their numbers are still declining. If hard action isn't taken, we may lose this species forever. Just like we might lose the Sumatran tiger. The Sumatran tiger is the smallest tiger subspecies that is alive right now, and it's last of the Indonesian trio. About 6,000 years ago, the Sumatran tiger was genetically cut off from its mainland cousin, and over time, this breed has evolved a very different appearance. Its stripes are very dark and well-defined. The stripes also cover its forelegs, a trait that no other tiger subspecies has. The Sumatran tiger is also very close to extinction, but they're hanging on. As of 2022, there are about 400 left in the wild, which is a pretty solid number. Hopefully, they'll stick around too, because we'd hate to see the subspecies disappear off the face of the earth like the other Indonesian tigers. Enough about endangered tigers though, because there are some subspecies that are thriving. And now, we have the most iconic of them all, the Bengal tiger itself. This is the species people picture when they think of tigers. They're the oldest of the tigers, having been around for over 12,000 years. These Indian tigers are the most numerous of their species, having an estimated 2,500 to 3,300 individuals spread out over India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. And yes, you heard that correctly, 2,500 is considered a big number. Isn't that a sad state of affairs? Do you remember when we talked about the blue mutation of the Indo-Chinese tiger? Well, it turns out the Bengal tiger has a similar gene, only in white instead. That's right, all white tigers are descended from the Bengal tiger. That's only a 1 in 10,000 chance that a white cub will be born to two normal tigers. These white tigers are different from albino ones, which don't have stripes at all. Isn't that amazing? Up next, we have the last of the three extinct species. Once found around the Caspian Sea in both Turkey and Iran, this tiger subspecies was absolutely huge. In fact, the largest of its kind was recorded to be just under 12 feet long. That's twice that of an adult human male. And this one is one furry creature you would not want to cross. It also makes the Caspian tiger the biggest subspecies to have ever walked the earth. But this size didn't help the subspecies in the long run, because when humans invaded where they were found, their habitat started shrinking. Not only did the Caspian tiger lose their home, but their prey also started disappearing. As a result, the subspecies also went extinct almost 50 years ago, and now we finally come to the strongest of all tiger species, the Siberian tiger, also known as the Manchurian tiger, Korean tiger, Amur tiger, or Usarian tiger, is found in China, Russia, and Korea. But its territory used to be much larger than that. The Siberian has a broad chest and a large skull. Its thick fur, which protects it from freezing winters of northern Asia, tends to be a less vibrant color of orange than other tiger subspecies. It has to be the strongest of the tigers to survive in an environment that harsh. Its prey includes both deer and antelope. But this breed of tiger will even hunt bears when food is hard to find. Although the Bengal tiger is bigger than the Siberian tiger in the wild, the subspecies defeats all its cousins in captivity. But did you know there's an even larger type of tiger? When you breed the Bengal tiger and the Siberian tiger, their offspring grow more than both of their parents. Sadly, this subspecies is endangered just like all of their cousins. Tigers are silent and deadly, and they're some of the most beautiful creatures on the planet. And if we're not careful, then they'll be completely wiped off the earth and will be something we can only see in museums and picture books. The governments of India, China, and Thailand are, are taking actions to protect their tigers, which is why their populations are flourishing. Thanks for watching this video till the end. You can see the other videos on our channel if you are interested in these kinds of topics.